got, mm, <laughs> let's not do that. Please, let's not do that. I'm already hit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, like, let's, let's, let's not do that at all. Let me take a sip of water before we get started. Yeah. yeah. Pull up the agenda, your thirst quench, nigga. Come on, don't ever ask me if my, my thirst is quenched ever again in your life. Look at but, that whole commercial. That's what the January commercial is. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Don't ask me if I'm thirsty no more. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Contrary to Popular Duty, yeah. the podcast, episode eight. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm getting good at that. You know? I'm Key. This is Ransom. Glad you guys can be with us today. I'm glad you guys are checking it out. We're going to hop right into it. I got a new segment. You got to ask nigga how you feeling or nothing. After this. Okay. I got a new segment. Yeah. I remember one podcast I came on here. Ran mm-hmm. talking about giving credit. Giving credit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give two niggas they credit. Okay. The am, I, first, am I one of these niggas? No, absolutely not. Stop it. <laughs> the first person I'm going to give credit to. Yeah. Sir. Sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Your okay. album, Chasing Summer. The, R- the R&B the singer. The R&B singer. Sir, your album is hard. I was late. We did a review on you. I'm like, I'm fucking with it. Now, 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 listen so to you your So you're a real, you real fan. Man. Yeah, for sure. So I'm giving you your credit. Shout out to you, sir. Okay. So you're giving me my credit? No, I'm giving you. sir as an artist his credit. I gave you your credit already. Okay. Sir, mm-hmm. as a whole project, that's a hard project. Okay, it is. It yeah, is. and then some of them. Yeah, for sure. Hard. So, I'm giving you your credit. Mm-hmm. You got your credit. The second one, Charles Barkley. Uh, because you watched the documentary. I watched the documentary. You know what's funny? We, so get into it. Yeah, 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 Charles Barkley. What's the dog? You was low-key who? Not low-key. You a Hall of Famer. Dream Team. Yeah. I think people get you confused because they see you broadcasting now. Yeah, he's probably been. But you was like a six foot seven power. I think he was bigger than that. Three hundred. No, he was. He was a small power. He was big. Yeah, but he would. But he, he ran up last night, and when I watched yesterday on Sunday, he said the first time in his playing career he felt like somebody level better than him was in that Western Conference Finals. Yeah, he was, was in the play. No, that was the that, that was, was the, the uh, NBA Finals. Finals. That, that was the Finals. That nigga said, "I played my best game." I, I said, "I seen him hit a step back." Yeah, I said, I said "Ooh, he's six seven. Got busy. He's six seven. So you're gonna get, so you get charged. That's what I think the beautiful thing about this documentary. I'm gonna give. Yeah, it's your first time seeing it like that, right? It's your first yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like I said on the last one, this is yeah. a Jordan Doc. He made it to the NBA Finals, bro. He won the MVP that year with Jordan. Jordan he said he's he upset that yeah. he didn't get the MVP. Yeah. And you know what's funny? The re- I'm glad you brought that up because uh, I think this documentary. If we we talk about the course of the last dance, the Michael Jordan, like everybody know it. But I think this documentary is something that we probably don't see yet because the NBA is not in service yet. For sure. <laughs> right? Who who we talking about? Who we talking about? We're going to be talking about Michael Jordan. Who else? We talking about all No, no, no. Right now in 2020, May 6th, when we talking about Michael Jordan, who the second person under that? You talking about like... Ron, nigga. I'm talking about Ron. I'm talking about LeBron James. And oh, I'm, I'm thinking you're talking about in a documentary. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm back to a whole yeah, thing. Okay. Because we got everybody watching, right? So keep this out. For sure. The same way we watch it, LeBron and his family watch it on Sundays, I believe. For sure. And I, this is what makes the reason. The same way you give it Charles Barkley like this, this ultimate kudos because you've seen it. Yeah. BJ Ronald wrote, he said, Michael Jordan stopped playing basketball and then they could just figure out how to win. Right? <laughs> That's said, all he did. That's bro. all he did. He changed the momentum on both sides of the floor. I think LeBron can do that. For sure. I think Le- I think Le- because have when you, you go to an eight, nine, you just, I know it's not beef. I know it exactly. Yeah. You didn't win him. For you sure. Know? But when he when he put, but I you know have that you beef. have that option. If you at eight nine, yeah. finding the road, it's you disgusting. got some type of ability. You it's might not disgusting. win them all. But, but when you, he put that hat on, he just did it. When he put the hat on, he said Space Jam. For sure. New Legacy. I've, I haven't seen the logo yet. Like yeah, I've seen, seen is it New Legacy. Yeah, I haven't seen the logo. So we discussing one of the greatest. Basketball players of all time, for sure. And and I think if LeBron is watching this, he probably has to figure out. I think I, can, I think I think, I think LeBron's gonna be way more aggressive than we ever seen him before. For sure, but on I, both sides of the floor, bro. For sure, but he gonna change the game, bro. But for sure, but I think them niggas be students of the game. So I already think he already know all this shit. That yeah, we he plans it out for sure. So he already know this. So. Yeah. Like, them niggas be students of the game. Like, these niggas be watching old tapes and all. Yeah. So he knew all this shit. But, but, but I, I don't think he's... I don't, he saw it, but the way he watched it, the way we watched it, he didn't... Bro, Michael Jordan did something we never But if you think about it, he probably heard the stories firsthand. That's what LeBron James... Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He, yeah. he probably not already see, heard it. Yeah, see. he already aligned it, bro. This like, He already told us he's been chasing adults. You yeah. think that's just rings? No, nigga. He said that, nigga. Yes, he did. He said he just, said that, nigga. No. He got it for me. 
Probably yeah, because LeBron said he's chasing a ghost. Yeah, he, sure. So he already knows it. So you can't you say, can't I don't think LeBron. You can't catch a exactly. Ghost. So you can't say, I don't think LeBron knows what. When watch, obviously, he done studied this shit. He done watched the story. He's been compared just, to Michael Jordan his, his whole, whole life. life. His whole so life. you know he done heard but the I damn think, story. But I think the factor of. I believe LeBron. The world's seeing it now. But I believe LeBron is playing in an era where everybody on every team is damn near going to be a Hall of Famer one day. Every fucking body. At least two team, or three of them. They got players that we've never seen before, right? So They just haven't emerged yet. So every night you got to be on. But I figure, I think when you come back this after this quarantine shit off. We no, I think they all coming back on bullshit. No, Not just, but that's just going to separate them. You're right. Yeah, everybody everybody, everybody coming bullshit. back on bullshit. But that one person. When that nigga did this, when that nigga Giannis did this shit, King bullshit. that's disrespectful. Yeah. Right, you ain't one shit for me, young nigga. I love Giannis. I think Giannis gonna be the future. But okay. you have not one shit. You, you they want an MVP? Game. Great. For you, sure. It was in the moment, and I did. Yeah. But now LeBron gotta show these niggas, I am what they, who they say. For I'm, sure. I'm, I'm in this bitch. So yeah. I feel like when he come back after, after watching these documentaries and after being locked down, he gonna you be know on bullshit. Still he gonna be on bullshit, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just ready for the league to come back. The NFL ain't going nowhere. Hey, what's up, Sheba? Sheba over there telling nowhere about Sheba right now. Did you see a topic that's not on the dock? You a Dallas Cowboys fan. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. You seen that y'all ain't paid back the money. Y'all just went to sign somebody else. Yeah, you talking about Dalton? Yeah. Yeah, Andy. That's his name. Andy, Andy. Dalton. <laughs> from Fort Worth, Texas. He from TCU you right talk. down the street. Now, look. I'm not going to sit up here and say I'm the... The biggest. No, for sure. Hard I, I, I just want to hear what your take is on it. Because this is at this point, people are starting to say this ain't even about football. No what what they say? Not Don, too, Donovan McNabb alluded to what yeah, what McNabb say? Andy Dog got a job. Yeah. Yeah, y'all don't want to pay for sure. Then you don't want to pay for Dallas Cowboys, you're talking about the No, they saying the the whole league. Yeah. They say in the league. At this point they say in the league. Cam New MVP took his team to a Super Bowl. It has not been signed. Yeah. But uh, Andy Dalton, nigga ain't never won a playoff game. Yeah, but Andy Dalton is also comfortable being a backup. For sure. Cam Newton is not a backup. He no, does, we're saying in general, signing in general. I'm saying in general. That's, well, yeah, there's a lot of teams that need a starting quarterback. So I'm not fuck the, being a starter. It's niggas out here. Boo hoo. Yeah. Trash yeah, that's, quarterback. That's, that's a whole. That's a whole. That's nother. what he said. That's a whole. Nother. Yeah, we gonna get on that later. We can talk yeah. about that later. That's a whole. Nother nother that, that is. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole. Nother. Just but, since we on that sports thing right now. Andy right. Dalton. Being signed, right? Yeah. It's not a threat to Dak Prescott. Of all. course not. But the way that we make it proceed. Yeah. Well, yeah. You think Andy, if you think you don't trust Dak Prescott to take us to a championship, you think I'm gonna trust fucking Andy Dalton? Look, for shit. You he been here. He been to the playoffs. Yeah, he never won. You, I'm on your side. Okay, I just you never sure won. You, you heard? I just made the. I, I it is a. Up. It is a solid backup. It is. Hit, it is. Right. It is. But I don't think he's coming to be the backup. Right, now, that's the deeper question. I don't question. think he's coming to be the backup. I think he is. Dak still holding out. Got this nigga in early. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Mm -hmm. This is a scenario. I'm just thinking in my head. What's up? Dak hold out. Yeah. Because you know, Jerry Nolf and I didn't give a nigga they, went, they gave Zeke the money, but he had to hold out a while. Yeah. Dak hold out. And he come in and said, okay, don't do it. He got the Week one, nah. you the starter. Because, nah, I'm just, don't say nah, because niggas never Watch thought it. to. Well, niggas never that. thought Tony Romo would be bitch for a nigga. I did. For sure. Me and you did. Yeah. But Cowboy fans never. Never. Right. So what I'm saying is, they start liking this nigga. Dad holding out as he should. Get your money. This shit is. Keep working out doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now he's like Andy. But I'm saying this shit could happen. They can even play it like they like Andy. I just, just, I just feel like, like I just yo. feel like because Dak has not signed his deal because for whatever listen. Money is money. Bro, I've right? been one of the top ten quarterbacks in the game, and I'm paying four hundred thousand. I'm getting paid four hundred thousand yeah, less. And I exactly, and I understand. People think people think that he holding out for him. This is really for the sport in general for these young black quarterbacks, right? Not even that. That's no, what, no, it is. For sure, it, it is. That everybody's being paid. Everybody. And if we're going strictly off statistics and numbers, right? He should be paid. He should be paid. He should be. If football or sports in general, if you're going to pay me for that deal last year, that's the game. Niggas, oh, what are you doing? Are niggas you projecting people off potential. Niggas ain't even starting. You seen this nigga? Either. So do you think that I'm actually? Do you for think sure. that Prescott has the potential to take us to a champ? Not us, me, because I know you're saying yeah, for sure. To take me, absolutely. To a he, he got y'all thirteen and three, right? Now we got a spark. No, it wasn't a spark because he came back. So He's been fishing. Have they, so why have they not? Paid? Let's get because we don't know the politics. We don't know the business. because it's something. We just fans. Why for sure. not paid? I got yeah. We can lock that up, but I got this corner that can't tackle. I got this nigga, he can't tackle. I need to find somebody for him to throw it to. 
I need that's how they trying to just get laid? For sure. That's how they trying to play it. Right. This this is how they say, oh we it's not just you on the team, we need somebody to protect you. So do they want them to buy okay? Buying into the team. You I know you watch. I know they watch uh, Undisputed with Skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched it since in a while, but you've yeah. seen it. Yeah, for sure. Skip always talking about the hometown discount. Exactly, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. Walked yeah. our hometown discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come win a championship. You in Dallas? You win a championship. Yeah. The endorsements go fly through the roof. Fuck yeah. that. I want my forty mil. I don't blame you. Yeah, for sure. But I do blame. You. Yep. You feel me? Because it's one. Of, it's one of them things. It's a a championship is for the city. It's not really for you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Of course you don't get the clout. Of course you get the ring. You took us there. For sure. But this shit is really... Them championships is for the city. Niggas got this shit tattooed on their skin. For sure. On the back of jackets. You going to these niggas down. I'm talking about black. They got the ring. Black, brown, Mexican. We come together with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys? For the Cowboys. The boys, y'all So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all fight for the boys. I've been in the state. So for sure, that hometown discount is a real thing. Yeah, for sure. But they want you to take it. But but the way you treat me, the way you talk to me, the way that these players come in like property, right? Fuck it, I want to take care of my family. Plus, I'm not even taking a hometown discount if I ain't even got the big deal yet. If I haven't got no deal, I, I haven't got, got no deal. But I take my numbers. Deal. I take these numbers, and you're looking at the league average, and I'm paying. And I'm much? top ten, and I'm getting. He getting paid like I, his salary can't be more than two million. But you know, I've always felt like that about football. I've always felt like that. These are some of the most superior athletes in the world. Yeah. Not just America. You take a football running back and you put him up against any professional athlete in the world, he gonna do what he do. He gonna do what he do. He's gonna do so what for he you do. to lowball these players and for you not to pay these people for what you think they worth, it's crazy because you make it all this money. For sure. So I'm not going on oh, deck tripping. I'm not because you see yeah, it. If you watch the Michael Jordan documentary, we talked all that shit about uh Pippen. We talked all that shit about Pippen. We talked that shit about Pippen. Pippen was hurt. Bitch, you stop. But I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the money Pippen made. You're you know, for 17 sure. million over eight years. And we was disgusted. He was doing it for the team. He did it for the team. And everybody now everybody said he's stupid. So okay. you can't win a loop. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm dead, I'm sitting back. Uh, I'm sitting back. Yes, I think he did. Yeah. So that's that's pay that man. That's how I like that said about yeah. the pay yeah. that man. We can't if you don't and if you don't pay that man, we cannot expect him to have a morale. I believe that personally. For if sure. you do not pay this man. You're not gonna have a locker room. He's not gonna go in there and motivate when they got 90 million. Y'all brought this new fucking nigga in here. Then you got this redhead steaming at a nigga, looking at him because he's trying to put that yeah, stone in shit. Where he, he from? He's from Fort Worth. So you know he fucking love the Cowboys. He got that cough for jet lag. Hell yeah. So everybody say a lot of pressure. Yeah, everybody saying he's going to the Patriots first. Mm-hmm. But he's like, nigga, go to the Patriots. But the, the Bengals tried to trade him over there in the Patriots. So like, I'm cool. Exactly. Yeah. So pay that man. So pay that what he worth. I believe if you do pay him. We have everything we need to make it to the fucking at least a, at least a, well, how many rounds? Maybe three, four? Oh, shit. shit. Let's not get they add an extra round? Let's Isn't there an extra round added to the playoffs this year? I'm not sure. But I, let's, I remember let's, let's, like, let's not get that far ahead. Y'all went eight and eight. But. Damn. <laughs> Nigga lost as a jet. Yeah. You know how disgusted I was? Yeah. You go three and three and you lose to the fuck. Nah, y'all was, y'all was hot then. Hot. 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 And lost the jet. Anyway, let's get off the cowboy. What do you think about what Diddy said? Because I know you hit me and you want to hear what Diddy said. And I seen the clip. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh. Okay, I'm 29. Okay. So I'm not gonna sit up here and and try to pretend like I understand the magnitude of what he's saying to me, like all the way. But I, I, I respect it. Right. What he's in my opinion, what he's saying is the black vote has to be leveraged. And what I mean by that is I'm not just gonna vote for someone. Just cause they a Democrat. Right. And maybe and I know we hear that a lot, but now I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to get it now too. Exactly. Because I'm thinking, oh, you're a Democrat, you're for me, but nah, you gotta start looking but at you might pop, you might be against me. And yeah, I'm for sure. If you look at the statistics, you gotta look at you like, are against me. For sure. You gotta look at the policies and so, all of that. Just don't vote for people. I get what he was saying. Yeah. Don't so, vote for people so just because they're a Democrat uh, Democrat. So 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 this is so this is the deal, right? It's the same. We have to get out of this. Oh, I don't want them to look at me funny because if I was a coal miner and I had an agenda, and if, and if a Republican or a Democrat was like, I'm gonna fuck with the coal miners this year, I'm gonna open up all them coal mills, that means me and my family can survive. I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna give you my vote. Who up there is gonna say, hey, I understand that the, the environment and, the, and everything that around the black community is going right. to be significantly low? It's, it's out there now. We don't have to pretend like it's not. We right. call this shit the ghetto for a reason. We call it, the, you know what I mean? Yep. We call it projects for a reason. So I know, I'm, and I don't want to get for a pop. Ain't nobody gonna come and save us. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. We need, we need to have a plan together so when they do, this is what we want. Yeah. If you want my vote, I want better this. I want to do this. I want my people to do yeah, this. We want to be able to do right? this. Because, 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 because if you haven't noticed, they want to pretend like we don't got the cachet. But if the black vote fuck with you, 
They fuck with you. Right. It could, it could probably make you a president of the United States of America. No, it makes you the president. You we're not. They keep saying we're a minority, bro. We're the majority. That's because why. because I feel like the consciousness is loud. We're black, and you gotta you, you, you pay attention to everything we're doing, everything we're saying. And I don't know we want to trip, but Donald Trump actually did probably way more good on a on a on a different level than we even realize. What I mean by that is now young black kids are paying attention to politics for sure because it's polarizing. Yeah, because, because it's polarizing. We, at this point, we need to know what's going on. We got to. We know it's no. It's, no, it's, no, it's bullshit. We don't know what's this going on. This some bullshit. Yeah, the we, we have to have. A long time ago, I didn't worry about the shit. Right. Now and I don't. And as an adult, I've been through two presidents. Yeah. I've been through Obama. And I've been through, fuck that, not even an adult. You've been through more than that. I said as an adult, as a thinking, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I can make a change in this shit. Yeah. Even when I was a kid, I wasn't like, you know how when you a parent, like, you know how you, you a parent. So yeah, you, for sure. You be having kids, sure, like, you talk face. around a kid, you hear that shit. You, I didn't hear no shit like, oh, this shit is wild. Like, right, 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 I'm right. hearing shit like right. this. I have, you have to be in tune. It doesn't matter if you're an adult or a kid. Stay in touch. Right. Stay in but touch. But here's the deal. Here's the deal, right? I come from where I come from. You've been in where I'm from, right? For sure. So the majority of people where I'm from look like me. For sure. So we're not looking at the TV for politics. We don't even know who the mayor is. We don't know who our city council is. I we still don't know who the mayor is. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's how yeah, for sure. Thing. Yeah, I'm but starting the to learn that. Yeah. That we are drawn to and the people that have us captivated as rappers, entertainers, and ball players, and I know it sounds like a joke or whatever. Sure. And Rick right, in my nigga Rick Flair, right? Rick Flair. We, 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 niggas fuck the rest. Niggas fuck the rest. But those people are sometimes not talking about the things that benefit the community. That's what's really. I'm glad you brought that up, but I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah, like, but that's, that's, like, that's, that's the rest. The rest of the shit. What's up, nigga? I've been watching Vice. Shout out to Vice. I've been yeah. fucking with Vice lately. Yeah. They got this show called Dark Side of the Ring. It's hard. It's about all but, the rest. Hold on, hold on. You go, you go. You get on that. But I appreciate before we be, so we can, I appreciate yeah, for sure. what Dean was trying to yeah, say. Yeah, I, 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 I know what y'all people was doing. I know what y'all about that. He was trying to get us together. Really, some people call it ignorant because yeah. because listen, we still listen. Go out and but fucking vote. If you can vote, vote, go vote, please. But when matter of fact, we gonna set something up where we gonna pick niggas up at a designated spot. We gonna rent a bus. We gonna rent. I'm being dead serious. You got it right here. I'm being dead serious. We gonna rent a little. Come on. I, I, I respect it. We got it. I, I, I respect it. Like I'm genuinely like, what the fuck is going on? Every day I wake up like, what the fuck is going on? Right. But I, I, I don't want to go that far because I know we telling. Hey, okay. I'm, fuck. It's a pot. I don't care. I know we telling niggas to vote. Do you vote though? Do I? I voted. I, I, I voted every election I could vote. And I respect that. I voted. Sure. That's why I'm saying. I like, voted for Obama because my granny came. I just turned eighteen. Boy, get your ass up. Get this, your this, ass up. This, you this, going down to the school. She didn't say yeah. Obama to that. She didn't say yeah. My granny's a Christian woman, but she said, "Boy, get your you know what I mean? Get up. Get your behind up." That's right. what Christian women say. Like, behind. But, but they said it behind here, hard. Okay. But here, here's what I'm trying to say, right? Go ahead. I know we telling people to go vote, but I might even. I might not even. I feel uncomfortable. No, you gotta go. I understand what you're saying. You listen, to listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen. For sure. So if we're gonna tell people to leverage our vote, what has he said for me to leverage my vote, King? For what sure. are you going to do for me? That's why, why we need to get that's what he's saying we need to do. You taking I'm, people to the fire, bro. No, no, no. We got a long time before this election. No, we I'm don't say no, no, we don't. No, we don't. We got enough time for you to research. That's what I'm saying. Four months, bro. You got enough time to research. What has Joe Biden? That's that's who you vote for? I'm not sure. And I can't tell you that. That's against the law. I haven't. I have. Let me. Who, who, who's the? Okay. Let me ask you this. Bullshit aside, who is the Democratic? Uh, uh, who's who's the candidates? Who, I don't who, know until the, there's I, no one. Nigga, the, the election is in August, bro, or September. It's in November. What, okay. So what I'm saying is, it I'm is not saying you have to know for sure. I'm not saying. The day of, we did no information, we did none of this. We pull up with a bus. Let's go vote. No. We vote for you. Do it. excited for what? What I'm saying is this. Yes. yes, we might not know all the information now. Yeah, but you still have no, time. No, don't say no. I'm not gonna no. learn enough now. No, no, so no, we, know, we know. We know. We know enough now, Keith. We know enough How do we now. Know enough because now? you just asked me. Because you, you just asked me, and I couldn't. Because tell you what exactly. It was. And a lot of people. It is May sixth. 
Exactly. There is no black agenda that has been pushed. I'm talking about for the Democratic candidates, right? For sure. There is no agenda for us. For and sure. if there is, I apologize. I don't know. I have for not sure. heard about it. And I'm not, I don't know what's going on. And this is also a very so weird how time. can I go vote for... That's what he's saying. I'm not going to be Exactly. What he's, also, what he's also said in there is business. So he's researching. So you have time to research. What if I find it? What if I don't like what I research? What if, what I, okay, then. Because if you, if you do the research, you find out about the 94 uh, crime law and these bills that Biden has passed. You'd be disgusted. That's what you'd be disgusted with Biden. Then you, then you then make, what? Then, then what? Then you know how to vote. No, I'm not. Who else am I vote for? Look up. I'm a, now I'm gonna go to a, now I'm gonna go to a, uh, what's the other? What's, you got Democrats, Republicans, which is crazy. You got to be more than that. That's that's crazy. They have the Libertarian. So I'm the Libertarian. That's, that's or you can write you can write someone in. And that's a wasted vote in your opinion, right? To be honest, is that a wasted vote? So if I'm not voting for a Democrat or a Republican, is for me I can't say nobody anymore. What I'm no, because then you being too you being too people. We have an honest conversation. No, for sure. No, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. I know this is politics. Ain't nobody right. gonna be squeaky clean. This shit is all. I don't want that. I don't. I want an agenda. I want an agenda. Nobody at, like it. For sure. At the end of the day, they don't look like you and me, so they don't worry about our agenda. So what I'm saying is, if we can research, I'm not saying whoever has the best shit. That's what you go for. I'm saying you research and shit. You inform your own opinion. Don't let somebody I else inform you. Sure. For and sure. you make your decision. I feel, like, I feel like that. Okay, this is what I, in my opinion. I feel like that did, what Diddy said in that statement. I don't feel like that was for this this election because it's too late. It's that's what I'm saying. It's also a lot going on yeah, right now. But People ain't campaigning. No, they're not. That's what, what I'm saying. You only know what. Give me that's what I'm saying. Give me the second. Give me. I said people aren't campaigning. Let me ask you a question. That's what I'm saying. People no, aren't. Give me, it's just not, it's just. But it's different because they can't get out no, and all that shit. Keep, keep. We got the internet, we got TV. There's nobody polarizing enough to capture our attention. For sure. Give but the last that. person that was polarizing no. to catch our attention is the president yeah, now. He's, he's, he's polarizing because he was black. He's not polarizing. No, I'm not talking about Obama. I'm talking Give about the last me. person that we. You talking about Trump? Yes. He, 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 to, he is he, polarizing he, to some people. No, we can't. To the majority of people. For sure. sure. That, and what I'm saying is. Get off and let me ask you a question. Who is the second. Because now that Joe Biden is uh, a Democratic candidate, who, who's right under him? I think it was like Pelosi or something like who that. Who was under him? Under her? It doesn't, I don't know. What I'm asking then we is, had, do you know anybody else besides Joe Biden? Be honest with me. Yeah. Who? Um, Bernie? No. Nancy? Those, these were the people that were running. The okay. three main ones. Okay. What do you know about them? What were they going to do for you? Well, Bernie was interested in like the so, yeah, I, I, education, yeah. socialist type thing. So I really knew the most about Bernie. Me being a younger person, yeah. he was catering more to the young, younger people. Yeah, I've and, seen, and I've he kind of had a, a a black agenda, kind of. What, what was it? He understood. He was one of them that understood. You know, I seen the, the the pictures with him back in the sixties and the civil. No, Rights I wouldn't even think about that. I was look at that. I, I pay attention. Yeah, for sure. Well, I wasn't gonna go with that to a point. I, mm -hmm. That's an easy point I can go to. And I'm, those would be I'm, just. And I'm not saying that's an agenda. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's just. Exactly. I'm not saying he wasn't a part of it. But what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, is, I think he understood being an older male who had been around in the '60s and '50s, '60s and stuff. Really, if he was really moving like that, yeah. What we really I just think. What we really want. I think he had an we're idea. Vote, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not voting. For anything that's going to benefit, we have not voted for anything that's going to benefit for us sure. since we've been voting properly. For so sure. you saying, and I respect not because you my boy, you really my boy, and you saying, hey, cut it out. Come on, but, but you saying you're gonna get a bus and you're gonna take these people to go vote, but you're taking them where? You're taking them to do what? You're not trying to advance them. The I'm future. not. I, listen, listen. You're just saying because we know where we come from. My grandmother, seventy five years old. She 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 explained. She grew up in civil rights. She grew up in Jim Crow. Exactly. She grew up to where they they had they had a, a jar a pennies. And they, went, they, they walked, walked up to vote, and, and, then, and then white men said, how many pins in this jar? And if you didn't get it right, you couldn't vote. It's That's called, a lot of pins. It's called a poll tax. Yeah. You feel me? So just the, the right for us to even vote is yeah, very sure. and everything. So I understand what he's saying. But sometimes we got to take our own power back. And if we didn't, if we understand, I believe Trump will be the president regardless of what we do. For sure. So for these next four years. Inform yourself. That's what I'm saying. So, but I'm not. I, so but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm. I'm, a, I'm not gonna sit up and go tell people to vote if I'm not gonna vote for sure. But I, I can't. Do but it. I'm not taking. But I, not, I feel bad for saying this shit though. I do. Sure, but, but I'm, I'm going, going to vote. vote as you should. And I respect. That's what I'm saying. I'm not what are you mulligan. voting for? I'm, the right just to vote off for your agenda, off for your purpose, off for your family. My nigga, this probably laws out there right now. All that they have no idea about. All of the above. That's what okay. I said. I just have to research. For all sure. of this is research. For sure. All this I'm looking. This all it is. I'm gonna say you still have time. Now, if you don't want to vote, that's on you. 
I'm not. I'm not. Gonna I'm not saying I don't want to vote because I don't want to vote. I'm saying I don't want to vote because I don't. For sure. I and don't that's feel your, comfortable giving my and American right. That's for what sure. we fought for, right? For sure. You understand me? And I'm not gonna look at you crazy and be like, nah, fuck out of here. You gotta vote. Right. But when right. I say I'm pulling the bus, I'm not forcing people on the bus. I'm here if you wanna if you wanna roll type shit. I, I get what you saying. Like niggas be, come on, let's get this post in federal. Like, we just gonna go vote. vote. Yeah. No, I want you to come to be informed. I want your own pitch opinion, and yeah. I just want you to pull up. And I make believe vote. that it's May, and the election is in November, and we sitting up here still teetering. Teetering. Yeah, we're not understanding. But that's why the message. That's why the message is so important. And then I and then I get disgusted because. You know, with the with the event that happened today, I seen Joe Biden attach himself to that. Yeah, he it's a politician. Politicians have to do stuff like that. No, they don't. That's what I'm saying. I know they don't, but they think they have so to. Now like I say, politics is a you, nasty game. They think they have to do that. So it's a, it's a to win who's vote. It's That's what I'm saying. Game. It's a yeah. nasty game because they think they have to. This is what gives no, them their vote. I don't think they think a lot about us, bro. Right. That's exactly. That's why so, they made that choice to so attach them to that. If if some if some local who some, some local dude we're not even informed about politics and we're speaking about a black agenda because Puffy said it because Diddy said it. What do you think Joe Biden is really hearing? What do you think his team is hearing about a black agenda? Exactly. So you seen so so you seen the bullshit that happened today, right? And you see Joe Biden say, "I want these people prosecuted." I find shit. that shit disgusting. It is, but I you find know. no, it's not. You cannot because now, oh, that's why like that. And that's why they don't know about. That's what I'm trying no. to explain to you. They don't know about us. They think no, that's what's gonna get us. They vote because it, because, it, because it will. Because we are triggered by outrage. It's outrage. It, it, it will. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's why I said they don't really don't care about have, an no, agenda. Don't. You don't have an agenda, but you see this black. So you let me hop on and get some some votes. But that's not gonna get us votes no more. Yeah, but that's what he think. That's what all the and politicians in Washington the people think. around here probably think that shit. Exactly. Right. All of them, uh, majority right. of them in Washington let me, think that. Let me ask you this, he right. just is probably the first one to get to it. So if we make up this 13% of the population, whatever the case may be, we make up 85% of these prisons, right? And when it's time, when it's really time to come into politics and when it's really time to become president and all these things, do you think these people really go in there and say, hey, what am I going to do for the black community? Absolutely. But what does that even look like? Right? What does that truly look like? Because we are such a, 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 a man. I was watching that. I was watching a good, uh, a good movie on Netflix. I fell asleep on. I think it was the. It was produced by the uh, assistant director. Is it Netflix. called uh, Day and Night? Day and Night. I haven't watched it yet. And he said some hard. He said slavery taught black people how to survive but not live. Mm. Right. And it's 2020, and that and that statement hit a nigga so powerful and so hard because that's what we're doing. Yeah. Right? That's For sure. So if you get somebody who feels what the fuck I'm feeling, right. I'm not even talking about president. I'm talking about the man under president. I'm gonna fuck the vice president. If he can be next to the president, yo, my man, no, this is what the fuck we need. For this sure. is what's going on, For right? Sure. Our people are fucking traumatized. Yeah, right. It's not a joke, and, and you're not gonna make us feel crazy. Because now we getting, I'm gonna be thirty in about two weeks. I'm getting into that age range where I can vividly see. I'm aware of what the fuck is going on outside. Right. I'm not pacified anymore. I'm not a teenager with these weird dreams about going to the NBA. You thought you were going to the NBA? Nigga, you know I did. Nigga, you know what? <laughs> stop playing with me. I you know you had to, but you, how tall was you? Shit, back then. <coughs> all right, stop it. That's all I need to know. You didn't think about going to the league? Of course I did. Exactly, because that's really installed in us. And I don't care what you tell me. For sure. Every young black. Why the fuck is that installed in us when you give up your dream? Because when when you give it up, when you say I ain't going to the league no more, I ain't give up my dream. I just got a better one. Mm. Maybe that wasn't even your dream. Yeah, maybe that shit wasn't even your fucking dream. It, it probably was. not I think I was at the time. I but, doing but I but I truly feel like that's the only way for us to think, my nigga, we gonna get out of this fucking place, bro. The hood is not a, a, a place. They rap about it, they glorify it. And I know the little white suburban kids really want to be a part of the hood. That's why they love our rap music like that because it makes them feel like they're from there. Yeah, but if you really come from that shit and you really see your mama struggling and your pop struggling and your granny struggling, that is not the mentality. That's not the case, bro. Yeah, that's not the move at that's, all. At all, right? So it's just a, it's just an unfortunate thing. And uh, back to what Diddy was saying, I respect what Diddy was saying, uh, and I agree with it. I agree. And like I said, Michael said, up said, I understand the magnitude because it's a powerful thing. He pretty much saying, I, I think he's saying, don't vote. Who knows? Right? Maybe he's not seeing that. Or but if you don't just give your vote up because you're black, 
Or maybe you could just be opening your eyes like, hey, maybe we do need to That's it. So open up. I think, think it's a great conversation. I think it's a great, great conversation. conversation to be had. Now there's a lot of passion behind it. It's a lot of understanding that I wish that we got. I think politics moving forward, bro, will be a different ball game. It will be. I believe this. I believe hip hop. Everything. Will, I believe hip hop will be a part of politics in the next twenty years. I'm yeah, for sure. About the people who really listen to it will be in, on the front stage uh, and seeing this. For sure. We're gonna look at some pretty dope. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Big, big time. Yeah. But it's time for another segment, and you know this segment. It's right. called Simple Solutions. Cause here at Contrary Belief, these simple, these you solutions. You gotta get our name right. It's contrary. I said contrary to two popular beliefs. Don't worry about what I said. I did what I did. <laughs> now. Simple solutions. Yes. You are in the store. I'm in the store? Yeah. Okay. Both. Convenience store. Gas station or just to get some, get some chips or something? What I got going Gas station. It's okay. Gas station. Okay. It's being robbed. Sticks out. Give it up. Yeah. Give it up. I need everything. Right, 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 right. right. But they don't see you. Well, you course, in the back. You know, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the question. What's up? What's do up? you steal something too? Damn. Ooh, do you steal something <sighs> too? Okay. Depending on what year it is. <laughs> you feel me? What I got in my hands, if I got a drink, no, that's stolen. No, I'm saying I'm walking know. about the store with that. No, you need to stretch. You deserve that. I'm walking about the store. No, with that. that's your settlement, my, for that. that's your settlement for the case. On my way out, show. I'm grabbing some extras. Okay, I just want to make sure. Cause uh, mm-hmm. I'm grabbing everything. Yeah, on my way out. I'm grabbing yeah, I'm grabbing everything. Nah, then you part of the robbery, bro. You gotta, you gotta be smooth, bro. You gotta get a two. Bro. Everything to me is two bags of chips. Yeah, I'm getting. You know, I'm getting out of there. there. Two bags of chips. And after he walk, after he get, after old boy, hopefully he get away safe. I'm not saying. Yeah, but. It is what it is. Go and get a pattern. Yeah. After he leave, I'm walking up at it. I'm not staying around. I'm out of here. No way. <laughs> I'm gone. No, no fashion. No After this nigga leave, yo, I'm out. I'm sliding. I'm gone. Probably my girl in the car. She's scared. She see niggas running. Right there. She might hear my phone while I'm in the store. Them. You know what I mean? That's so, you so fuck your shit up. So yeah, I'm. Now you can't steal nothing. He know you I'm back there. I'm taking things, but I'm distressed. Like you said, I'm taking things, but I'm distressed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, distressed. I'm distressed. I don't know how this Arizona got in my hand. <laughs> he just right. started shooting, and I was like, "Oh, I'm thirsty." Yeah. So what, what, what makes that a simple solution, though? Uh, some people wouldn't take it. Nah, you gotta get up out of there, bro. Now, some <laughs> people, some people really would still walk up to the grocery like, "That was crazy, huh?" Yeah. He go, "My two dollars. I know you just got hit for five, but this two will do something." What minute we on, cut? We are in thirty-one. You tired? Already? No, I'm not tired, but you know. No, 30 of the I yeah. wanna I wanna get to the shit. Too. Yeah, we've been doing a lot today too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been doing a lot today. I wanna, I wanna get to the shit, bro. No, for sure. I know you wanna get to the shit. Yeah. And we're gonna get to the shit. Right now. Actually. My mic drop. Yeah, your mic did drop, and this ain't the time for a mic drop. <laughs> so, the case of Ahmad Aberry. Hopefully, hopefully so. rest, first of all, rest, rest in peace. Before we, before we, before we even jump into that, R.I.P. Right. Because just like everybody else, it's May 6th. So we just got this information. We just got this information. Yeah, yeah. I seen it today. I think some came out yesterday. But the yeah, case, I, I seen a video yesterday. But it's been, it's been a whole turned my, case since turned February my Twitter 27th, off, I believe. Whoa, since February? I believe so. I, I turned my man. When I see stuff like that, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get more information on it. I know what it was. I know no, you don't. It is. no, you don't. No, when I say I seen the video, yeah. I don't want no more information. I don't, know, I don't want to know what happened before or after. I don't. That's fine. That's fine. For sure. I don't. But I'm glad the tape came out. Because they at first they weren't pro- prosecuted at all. Yeah, of course not. The tape been out. Right. For but sure. That's a whole nother. Yeah, that's a whole nother. And, and we're not we're not here to sit up because we don't know. Yeah, that's we're just saying. we speculate. But I wanna ask you, when you seen something like that, you know, at this point I'm desensitized to it. Um when I see another black man, he's 25 years old. It's not for sure, and I'm 26. So that you so got, I'm 29 next year. So be different. Yeah, a little so, cousin, a little brother, my partner. So for sure, who was who was running? Yeah, he just jumped. And, and appears to be like he was being gunned down like an animal, right? That's not to sound dramatic. Somebody in the back of the truck, right? Hopping out the truck, someone following video, and like, for it to be just swept under the rug because apparently this. What's, what's his man's name? I don't want to say his man's name. I'm not, we're not going to say his but, name. But uh, apparently he worked for the DA. He could have been a former officer. So for him to believe he had the right and the authority to stop somebody because he fit the description, right? Especially at a time we're living in now, right? Yeah. To where you're praising these people who have these ideas that we can just with property. Yeah. That you can just stop us anytime. Hey, nigga, come here. What the fuck are you doing in my neighborhood? You look like somebody. So yeah. I'm minding my business. I'm jogging. Obviously, he gave that to his son because it was the father and the son. Yeah, for and sure. You cannot sit up and tell me that these men are not being looked at as heroes. We're looking at them like villains. 
13% of Americans in our age be crying. We want justice. We want fucking justice. That's what we're saying. But you got to look at these other people who probably look at this man like a hero. And that's the disgusting part. Yeah. It's, it's, because, you, because you know some way he's going to be taken care of. They're going to pay for his house. Right? If they fire him, if the son lose this, there are going to be people money on who take books, care of these yeah, men. For sure. Right? They're being looked at as heroes right now for doing what? For killing a black man. Right? When you, you said you saw it on TMZ? I seen, it, I seen TMZ drop the video yesterday. So I can only imagine what this man, his mother's going through if your son has been murdered in the streets cold since February. Right? We in May. Yeah, yeah, and now the case is just being reopened and brought up to the world. Yes, the, the world, world seen it. You can't cover that up now. The internet. This is the beautiful thing about this. Yeah. Also the, it's also bad because we're so traumatized to it. Imagine if I looked at it and I said, I'm disgusted. It messed up my whole just energy today because I seen it, right? Bro, I, I remember when Trayvon yeah, was, I, was, was, was soft down. That's the that's the first one I remember being that young because I was in high school. I, I, might, I might have been right out of high school, but I remember it. I was definitely in high school. I was so, 15, 16. So just imagine, bro, how that, how, that, how that white man, how that white woman, how that Asian man, how that Asian when they see it, what do they feel, right? If I'm numb to it and I look just like him, yes, sir. Hot, yeah. exactly. It's, it's, this, exactly. Is, so this is one of the reasons that I'm probably not going to have it. Because I'm not. I swear. Not just this type of shit. I've been thinking. I'm, I've, I've this goes this back shit. to the conversation we just had about voting, right? For sure. There are certain laws in these certain lands for where sure. this man is not prosecuted. For so sure. I'm not going to give you my vote because I understand that these laws. For that sure. Work. You kill me in the street, and yep. these men are still walking free. They've been home for two months, chilling, and you murdered this man because yep. you fit the description. He was jogging, right? Mm -hmm. and this, it's not a normal thing. For sure, and this world, man, it is it's not a normal thing. And when to I be say black man in America, but for this sure. is America, for sure, this is America, bro. For sure, so I'm not going. I'm not going to sit up here and try to and try to act like it doesn't bother me. It does. It's, it's one of the reasons. It, it was a key, not this murder, but it was a key factor in me and my girl deciding that we don't want to have kids. That's, That's fine. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, for sure. I got. I got them already. I got yeah, for black sure. Babies. For so sure. My, so my and, babies, and I want my babies to have beautiful black babies. For sure. So I'm not gonna stop because of what these people are doing to us. But now it's time for us to stay. For sure. That's what I'm we're not saying. I'm not I'm not that's what we're saying. But I'm not having kids because of what they do. I can give a fuck what they do. What I'm saying is, I don't know, man. It's just maybe it's it's disgusting, Keith. It's just, it's yeah, not, it's just so not disgusting. disgusting in the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's so disgusting. disgusting. I can't word. like you like you have kids, so you are like you understand, like they already here, so yeah. you, you understand. This is the world. This is the world. This but is it's not for sure. It's not the world for sure. But you can, you can, you can already tell them that and coach them that they here now. Yeah. For me, this shit to me, this shit is getting sicker and sicker and sicker. It's been the same. It's been the same. It's but been it's, the same. But it's, it's starting to be visual. You know what I mean? No, we just we just we just see it now. Exactly. And, it's, and people are shocked because it's getting sicker and sicker. sicker You've seen a man get hunted down, literally. Yeah. Jog, get out of my way. Shot down. And the there was no. And he went out like he went out like a soldier that he that he is. Yeah. It's such a graphic fucking video. It is. Right. I can't imagine his girlfriend, any his little brother, yeah, his father, sure. his mom, his friend, his any grade, family member, his teacher. sixth grade fucking teacher watching this young man being shot down in the middle of the street for what? Answer me for what? And they can't. No, you can't. That's the fucking problem. Answer me for what? No, they. I know why. No, I know why. No, but they, they know why. They no. act like they don't. They don't. That's the. They, they want us to believe that we don't. For know. sure. I you woke, know. You woke up on that bullshit. You and your fuck ass son. You and your fuck ass son woke up on that bullshit this morning. For right. Sure. You having a bad. I don't know what the fuck you had. You got. You got some twisted logic in your mind that I'm gonna kill me a nigga today. I don't give a fuck what you tell me or what you say. Not for sure. You it's woke up on that bullshit that you're going to kill a black man. Yeah, that's not a, because you're not going to get in trouble for it. And we see what for sure. Doing. That's not a spur of the moment. That's not a spur of the moment you, thing. You made a. You hopped in the Thank truck. You. Yes, sir. Yeah, I you didn't even that. think. You didn't even think like, oh shit, we really about to chase him down. Like, run. You didn't think that. No, they didn't. So for sure. So for us to for, for, for us to sit up here and this is not gonna be the last time that you probably hear rest yeah, in peace on, on this shit. For sure. And I'm just tired of fitting the description. But you get tired. No, we are yeah, for sure. sure. I'm a, I'm a, I'm yeah, for I'm sure. America's worst enemy, my nigga. For sure. You talk about between the height of five five and six nine. Yeah, for sure. That's what they say. For sure. You fit the description of some rob I'm jogging in the middle of the day. A white but white t shirt. On. But I'm robbing houses. Did I rob your house? Did I rob your house, sir? Or do are you just upset that I live in the same neighborhood as you? Mm, we didn't. Or is that? And then TMZ disgusts me to a certain degree, right? But they also, 
you also got to be appreciative because they, without, we never without, see this. Exactly. Without you TMZ, you never see a lot of they issues. sell black debt. Keep. How much you think he got paid for that video? Put a put a put a, put a, put a price on that young man's life. I can't. I can't personally, but you know they do though. But yeah, they do. They do. So how much TMZ paying for that bullshit? Right? Quarter million dollars? Because it's it's a it's a big it's a big video. It's a disgusting video. Up close and personal. I wouldn't even say quarter mil. Who knows, right? Yeah, Who I knows what the it. fuck that they sold this man's Because they just gonna be on to the next story. Reagan spike. Now the world is talking about it. You're gonna see black Twitter. Oh out. Shut the fuck up. Until we decide it's you don't want to, but you don't want to be a, a hashtag. You don't want to always be a justice for this. It's justice for ransom. Justice for Keith. How long are we gonna scream that? Six weeks? How long are we gonna fucking scream that shit, Keith? Right? I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But like you said, I know my grandson got to live in this world. Yeah. Right. I know his kids got to live in this world. So what do we do to progress this movement forward? What do we do? to change the concept that we're just not these things. We're not property anymore. You can't, you don't own me, For sure. right? It's in your DNA for you to feel like you have the right to stop me. I'm minding my fucking business. I'm jogging, I'm keeping my cardio up. I'm being a productive citizen in life. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. I'm just out here getting my mind right. You don't know what this boy's potential was. You don't know what he could have been. Nothing. If, if you don't know, 25 years you, you, you can have a career at 25. I mean, it, it, it don't even matter about the group. He could have been just not fighting himself. Yeah, for he sure. Been, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But it doesn't matter. We would have never heard about this young man's name if, if the video didn't drop. Video didn't drop. So imagine how many small towns in Alabama, Mississippi, fucking Texas. Everywhere. It's not just in the South. No, anymore. but it's it's not. But, but it's, it's, it, we get it more in the South. Yeah, we sure. drag niggas in the South. You yeah, understand? We sure. still yeah. hang. There, there's lynching trees in the South. Drive drive an hour in Texas somewhere. You understand? Yeah, you can run there, for sure. There's plantations over the the spirits and DNA lingers out here. For sure. For you to feel like you have the authority to gun a man down in the middle of the streets. Right? And now, I think, what did this happen? I think it was, it was Alabama or, 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 I think or Georgia. Georgia. Or Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. I think Georgia. Was, I think it was Georgia. Yeah. So it's one of them states. For sure. Right? So it's one of them states where you know that the uh, the culture out there is completely different than maybe somewhere up north. Yeah. Like maybe somewhere in the west. You know, the, 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 the south is a powerful place. And we, you know, the, the people, the black people from the south are extremely strong people. Right, you feel me? So, like you said, we, we survivors. No matter, no matter from a fucking pandemic, no matter from Jim Crow, no matter from mass incarceration, slavery, we figure out a way to survive. For sure, right? we all so, will. Oh, but will. now we have to stop surviving and figure out how to live. Yeah, for sure. We cannot continue to get gunned down like this. And I don't know what it's gonna take. And I know the radical thing is to just stay strapped. What if? What if? What if you had a pistol on? Then he doing life, which you still alive, so I'd rather do the life. Why would he have life when you chase me down? Right? You know how to go. I know how to Yeah, but right. But at the end of the but day, at the end of the day, I rather if you see a black man running with a pistol on the city, that's what it's coming down to. What if Trayvon Martin had a little pistol? You're not coming him? up on him. You're not walking up on him. That's what the the thing is. They most of the time it's someone that's minding their business. They ain't got nothing on them. They strapped. Teenager, 25, they not rolling up on a 40 year old. You psychologically, you psychologically around like this. looking, I'm gonna kill this man's life because I believe nobody cares about this man's life. For sure. Right, they don't have a, they've been at home for two months. You, let me ask you a question, bro. Do you think they've been paranoid? Do you think they've been chilling? Celebrating at home for the past two months. Why they've been going on with their life. Been going on with their fucking life. And now they, I see them, I see them little dumb ass pictures, them, them uh, over a hall. Like, like, you know what I mean? They, they yeah. murderers, they predators. You feel me? I saw you. You saw the picture for sure, but I go hunt too. That don't mean you. Uh, I don't. I'm talking about them. Yeah, for sure. That's what the. Fuck, I'm not saying honey. They hunt. They do you hunt niggas? Sure. No, of course not. But they do. For I'm sure. Not, I'm not being dramatic, but that's the fucking truth. That's what yeah, they did sure. that day. They got up to kill a nigga. Yeah, in their head, not a black man, not a young black person. They got up to kill a nigga. Yeah, that's what they feel. A fucking nigga. That's how they move. They jumped out of a shotgun. Key close range. For sure. Nah, trust me. I know. If anybody know, I know. You know what I mean? So, you know, how do we move on? Because it's just Sandra Bland. It's a, man, you can go name, name for name. Name for name, name. And then we just continue. Boy, it's, a, it's a disgusting process that you be tired of. I mean, yeah, that's what I say. That's why I said I'm tired of being a statistic. I'm tired of if, us being a statistic. So how do we stop? That's a good question. I think, personally, 
We gotta stay aware. We I don't care. You gotta stay aware of what? If you feel like he that, was Jarwin, bro. For sure. So how can he have how could that young man have stayed aware? For sure. I'm just saying that's no solution. He couldn't, have, he couldn't have been born black. If he was born white, it's gonna happen. For sure. If he was born Hispanic, it's gonna happen. If he was born Asian, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Because this young man was blessed to have a melody. And being that spot in that unfortunate day, that's why he was killed. For sure. If there was no other reason for this, he, he didn't fit no description of birth. He's capable, bro. Like, no, no, me, you're me, not gonna give me that shit, bro. Me and you. I want you to tell me what this fucking is. You saw a black person and you felt you had the authority to kill him. Yeah, it's a cover. And obviously you did, because you're sitting at home today. you sit sitting at home. Mm. But I think, you know, now it's an outcry and now he'll go to jail. Yeah, but for four to five years, voluntary manslaughter. I don't, it's not gonna be no life. We know that. We don't know. We don't know. It's, a, it's an outcry now, and I know they're gonna, it's like whatever it's like, his mother, whatever his mother, for sure, says she have or she have. For sure, it's an outcry now. Like you said, six weeks, but the trial won't no, be. No, it's, it's gonna be. If this is this is one of those stories. Gonna For be sure, out, but I, the way they do it, they push the trial so fucking far back. The shit be. We'll lock him up to the trial day. For sure, lock him up. He's, That's a, murder. Yeah, he's a murderer. Yeah. For sure, both of them murderers. You know I mean? Both of them separate yeah. jails. We can't protect each other. Separate jails. You know what I'm saying? For no, sure. No, no, I want you separate jails. I Who's just, listening? I just, you know, I don't know what I would tell my son. Or how my father, if, if if my pops got a call that your son was murdered, what was my son doing? So we, we and you really don't know. We want to oh, there's a robbery suspect. Right. And we want to talk about the the other shit around him. Yeah, but we're not talking about the fact he was murdered because he was black. Yeah, for sure. That's that's what this boy's down and, to. And the the his people family was fed some bullshit. Yeah, like we fed some bullshit. Yeah, for sure. Right, it's May sixth, and we just now hearing about these things and. I just don't know. I I, just, I don't want to keep. I don't want to be numb to it. I don't want to be numb. To, I want to feel For it. For sure, I want to feel it. Maybe that's how I stay aware. Is under, is understanding that as long as we here in America, we're going to be fighting this battle. For right? sure, I think I think accepting that. But just because we're fighting, we don't got to get pissed off. For sure, you feel me? We're not going. We're not going to just back the fuck down. Because our people are back to fuck down. We try to we try to hold slavery. We try to act like slaves were powerful, but they are because we're here today. For sure. They were still yes ass, you know what I mean? Yep. You wouldn't be here today. So at all. In this way. Or in this way. way. So just moving forward, man, I, I you know, I want to continue to watch this story because it is a story. Yeah. And and I don't want to, you know, I don't want this young man's death to go in vain because just for people to get some clicks and some likes. Yeah, some, for sure. He's not a hashtag, he's a you know, he's a, he's person. a person. Right, be a person. He's a person of soul. They had a whole uh, life ahead of him. Yeah, you're 26, bro. Yeah, not nah, 26 years old. Okay, not for sure. If you don't, don't you jog every day? 6 a.m. Dude, if I would have got a call like that, every day 6 a.m. in the, at night, pitch black, and so, late at night. So that you 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 have to understand. Like that's why I find that shit. I can't. Yeah. So yeah. rest, man. To just you know, rest, 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 in, rest in peace to you. What's his name? And say his name. That's really what's for. Ahmad Asbury. Yeah, man. I want to make sure that I'm saying his name. Right. If you butcher, we apologize. And we have just apologize. Just out. Um, yeah, um, it's. I'm still yeah. like I said. I collect my thoughts. So it's in, it's in the DA hands now. Obviously, it's an outcry. You know, it's in an out. Thank goodness, it's in another DA hand. They brought another. Because it was your boy. It was your boy for sure. That's how crazy you kill a nigga and the DA is your boy. Nah, you gotta bring somebody else in. And I hope that DA, DA gets prosecuted too for covering that shit up. Hmm. And the sheriff, whoever else was in it. Yeah. But yeah, these people have to be held accountable. Yeah, have everybody to, has to be held accountable under this. You, have, you have, to. have to be. There's no small town. That was my bud, so I was trying to help shit. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't I'm, rock. I'm, I'm disgusted with the whole process. I'm disgusted with TNC. Yeah. I'm disgusted with the police department, which that's never gonna stop. If you look at I'm from Dallas, so on the side of that DPD uh cop car, you know what that shit say? It's in like eighteen eighty eight? Serving and protecting since 1886 or 1888. What, a, what was your people doing in 1888? You know what we was doing in 1888. So what do you think that the cops are looking at us in 2020? That, that, that logic, that same idea, same. your I process know. is the same. Nigga, where you going? I'm just going down here, boss. Right? This 2020. This is 20 fucking 20. You don't, have, you don't have the right to ask me where I'm going. Who are you? Who are you? Now, if I would have pulled my thing out on you and blew your fucking head off, then what? He was a family man, he had kids and all yes, that type of shit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, That's sir. how I go. Yes, sir. So, yeah. You know. But RIP, we are 48 minutes in. Yeah, man. Um, we went in a little bit today. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously. I, appre I appreciate even having a place to even. I don't give a fuck if yeah, three people watch this. Yeah, man. to vent. Yeah. Like I said, this is yeah. going to be on Cut It Y'all. We appreciate y'all so much. This is going to be on Apple, 
and Spotify. You can also check out the visuals on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Good Ransom. Yeah. Follow me at Earth Life 27. Yes, yeah. be careful out there, man. Stay aware. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed up because the devil out there. Now, yeah. left and right, appreciate y'all. And I believe a lot of them got devils in them. For sure. So, But we love y'all. See y'all yeah. next time.